Hi, and welcome back to uh, Mr. Ryder's Speed Math. Uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to look at adding and subtracting fractions. And I know when you hear that word, you kind of get all worked up and you think back to the day when you had to learn fractions and how difficult that was. So I'm just going to give you a real brief overview what a fraction is, and then we'll go right into the adding and subtracting fractions. As many of you know, and you were taught in school, you had a pizza, and a pizza with four slices. And four slices represents the whole pizza. So we will always have that number that represents the whole on the bottom. And for reference, we will call this the denominator, or the dominator. It is the big number. It is the number that represents the whole. If you were to eat one piece, we call that one quarter of your pizza. That's the basic principle, the building block of fractions. And it works for two thirds, it works for one half, five eighths, seven ninths. The bottom number always represents the whole. Okay, with that understanding, what we're going to do here, we're going to take two fractions, one fourth plus one fourth, and since four represents the whole, in this fraction, and 4 represents the whole in this fraction, we put the two top numbers together, 2, and we come up with 2 over 4. And that makes sense. If we have a pizza with 4 slices, and you eat one, and your son or daughter eats the second one, you have 2 of the 4. Make sense? Good. All right, part 2. Now we have a fraction of one-third, but this time we're going to add to it a fraction with a different denominator. This presents a problem. What we need to do is we need to find a number that both of these two denominators go into. And this is probably the most difficult part of the lesson, just determining what that number will be. We need a number that three will go into and a number that four goes into. In this particular case, that number happens to be 12. Oftentimes, you can multiply the 3 times the 4, and that will give you the 12. Other times, the numbers are a little bit bigger, and so what we need to do is figure out a number that is the smallest one. But in this particular case, we just multiplied the 2 to get to 12. What I've taught your sons and daughters is this. How many times does the number 3 go into 12? And the answer is 4. So I'd ask them then to take that number 4 and multiply it by 1, and that becomes 4. So 3 goes into 12 4 times. 4 times 1 is 4. Now we go to the second fraction. 4 goes into 12 3 times. And 3 times 1, as we go back up to the top, 3 times 1 is 3. Simply bring down your plus sign, and your answer is 7 over 12. And that's our addition for fractions today. Stay tuned and we'll come back and we'll do a couple examples of subtracting fractions.